G'day guys, welcome to the next tutorial. Um, in this tutorial we'll be going through light portals within Octane Render. Uh, what are light portals? Um, light portals are a better way um, to have uh, less noise and quicker coverage of your scene. How it works is that if you have no portal and you have like a window, um, a, uh, a, an uh, array will accidentally go through the window uh, bounce off the wind, uh, bounce off all uh, will intersect all sort of surface normals, but it will be unfortunately blocked since it can't find the sky. However, if you have a portal, every single uh, ray, uh, sky ray, uh, will automatically find and be connected. Um, it will be a lot more um, efficient, so to speak. Um, so how can we, how do you set it up? Uh, quite simple. Uh, first, I have here a scene that I've organized. Let me just pause this, uh, that you can turn on. Uh, there is a plane in a layer that you can, that's turned off and honorable in the layer section. Um, your plane, mesh plane, needs to be, the normal of the plane needs to be within the um, facing in between the room, which you can turn on to check if the normals is right, and place that to the window. And this will pretty much suck in all sky rays and will be a lot more efficient to bounce around than none. And we can visualize this. Um, so let's go to the uh, perspective camera. Um, and put the IPR to camera 1. Now let's just pause the render. In order to see the full effect of this, go to your render settings um, and go to path tracing and set the max samples to I put mine to 237 but you can put yours at 200 Make thing. Make sure it's around a minute or so, just to have a reference point, since we're just grabbing a ref reference point. Now, turn the layer off, and just press render. Refresh and press render. Now we're going to wait for this render to convert uh, to uh, finish at two thirty-seven, and we're going to save it. So I'm just going to pause it. Okay. Now, once the render is done, we're going to save this render by pressing this green icon called Keep Image. And now we're going to re-render the scene, but with the portal on. So turn the layer on, and press Refresh, and let's see how this render turns out. So the render is finished. Uh, let's just flick between the two, and let's see if we can see any difference. So the obvious thing that, you, that I can see is that it's a lot more brighter. So there's a lot more bounces happening. What I can see is also a decrease within the fireflies of the render also. And this is with the hot pixel on default. So hopefully these slight bounces can help you out. Um, now with the uh, hot pixel removal, I decided to put on to halfway and see if there's any more differences. And as you can see, between this image and this image, this has a lot less fireflies and it's way more brighter. I highly recommend using a portal for any sort of windows or glass scenes. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.